a guy do when he likes you? Just for advice. How do you like to be comforted when you're sad or upset? <laughs> Relationship status. Is social media not the real picture of your life? Like, do you get stress, breakdowns? <sighs> This video is going to be impossible to film. Let's see how many planes pass by. <laughs> and the wind is not in my favor. Also, water is coming down from the hot tub to the pool. I hope it's not too loud. And my mom is trying to clear the back. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Plane number one. Okay, are you done? <laughs> okay, thanks, bye. Hi guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Q&A, an updated one about my life and like what's going on currently. I feel like I film these pretty often because I just want to like update you guys and make sure you're caught up with stuff. So I posted this on my Instagram and I screenshotted a bunch. I am filming this in my hot tub. Um, <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna go, but we're just gonna hope for the best. But I feel like I'm gonna talk a lot, so let's get started with this Q&A. First question, how is school going? If you did not know, and if you haven't been caught up with the vlogs, I am a sophomore in high school this year. I've been in school for like two weeks now. <sighs> It's honestly a lot, but I just try not to take it for granted. If you guys watch my school vlogs, at the end of every vlog, I'm like, I am so tired, I'm exhausted, which is so true, but like, also, I'm having a lot of fun at school. There's plane number two. Like, I really love seeing people again and just being in that school environment since we missed out so much last year. So as much as it is hiring, I still do really enjoy it and I'm glad that I'm there. So I'm trying not to take it for granted because who knows, we could go into lockdown like any day now. And also high school is just gonna go by really quick. Like in the moment, it seems like a lot's going on, which it is. But I know in a few years when it's senior year, I'm just gonna be like, where did the time go? So sophomore year, starting off pretty good. I hope we don't shut down anytime soon because there's just so much to look forward to. How's your mental health lately? <laughs> Very good question. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the past few weeks it hasn't been the best, but I am doing better. I've been having some trouble with like the people in my life and also how I've been treating people, I guess. I feel like a big part of mental health is self-reflection. Like you need to recognize what's going on in your life, what to fix and how you need to fix it. I did recognize what was going on, why I had like a negative mindset. And now that I did that, I can do better next time. So I'm trying to better myself every day, like reflect on what I have been doing and see what I can do for the future so it doesn't happen again if that makes sense obviously with school starting everything i think there's just so much going on so many people will come and go in your life so <sighs> it was just a lot to take in making sure that i focus on myself and my happiness i think that's a huge part of like bettering your mental health just trying to be grateful for everything in my life because there's so many things to be grateful for next question how do you deal with stress kind of going along from the last one like i said self-care and doing like my favorite things so as you guys know reading and dancing setting aside time for you to do those things is really important because with so much going on it's always like go 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 but when you can spend time with yourself i think that's a really good quality like being okay with people is good but also being being okay with yourself is really good because you're always gonna be with yourself. But another thing I do to deal with stress is also knowing that taking a break is okay. I love working. Like I love being busy and I love doing stuff. So sometimes I <laughs> I like never know when to take a break, which is really bad because then I'll get really tired. I'm gonna burn myself out and that's just not a good thing for anyone, you know? So knowing that taking a break is okay is like a huge step because then you can actually let your body and mind know just to stop and relax for a moment. Next question, relationships status a lot of you guys ask this <laughs> but i am single i'm not dating anyone and i'm being 100 percent honest with you guys like no lies here girl <laughs> Another question or like questions that I got a lot were are you friends with this person? I haven't seen them in your videos in a long time. Are you still friends with them? First of all, I don't feel <laughs> Bro, first of all, I don't feel the need to explain everything on the internet especially because obviously a lot of things <laughs> Obviously, I still want to keep a lot of things off the internet for certain reasons like for myself or the other people involved So I'm not gonna like explain <laughs> Hey, Maddie's here. You want to say hi? Hi guys. <laughs> what do you want to do? Do you want to go in my room? I need to brush my hair. Okay, go ahead. I didn't know what I was saying. Wait, what was I saying? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't feel the need to explain everything on the internet because it's not anyone's business besides me and the other people that are involved. But I will say though, and let you guys know this, if you don't see them in my videos or like if you haven't seen them on my channel in a while, I'm probably not as close with them. Like they're just not in my life as much as they were. So all those questions regarding like, are you still friends with this person? Are you still friends with those people? I feel like I'm pretty open on the internet with like a lot of things. And I put people in my videos that I love having around 
around me so then when you don't see a certain someone in a while probably something happened and therefore that reason like they're not in my videos as much but just letting you know i do believe that everything happens for a reason so even if i'm not close with that person anymore i truly wish them the best i hope they're doing really good in their lives and i hope they're happy oh my gosh you scared me i hope that answers those questions next question a little lighter what inspired you to keep on reading once you got back into it i literally was just on amazon one day and i saw a book that i heard like good things about online so then i was like you know what should I just buy it? And then I did. And then I read it and I was like, whoa, it's pretty fun reading. And then I got the sequel to it. And then I was like, wait, I wanna read more. That's literally it. Finding good books that like engage me the whole time, that just keeps me reading because it's just so much fun. Also, if you haven't watched my book video, go watch it, I'll link it down below. Next question, what are the things that are motivating you to continue in life? First of all, you guys, thank you guys for, oh, look at my hair. Thank you guys for all of your support, all of your sweet words and comments and edits on Instagram. They truly keep me going and I just wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys. Also the support of my friends and family. They're the most important things in my life. So without the support of them, I couldn't keep going with any of this so oh hello dad <laughs> just everyone's out in the backyard right now <laughs> are you interested in anyone right now to be honest with you guys i am not really focused on that right now like boy wise i kind of have more things in my life that i want to put time towards um so boys are kind of on a hold for right now what classes are you taking this year i've explained my schedule in my school vlogs but i'll just tell you guys them again ap chemistry spanish three honors student council dance English 2 and Algebra 2 honors. So six classes, two honors, and then one AP. So far, everything's going pretty well. Again, it's only been like two weeks of school, so not gonna lie, some of the classes are super boring. I won't say which ones, but they're like so boring. But then the other ones are fun. Who is your favorite author at the moment? Miss Colleen Hoover, and I don't think it's gonna change anytime soon. I talk about her all the time, or at least it feels like it, on my channel, on my other social medias. I freaking love her and her books so much. My favorite book, It Ends With Us, is by her. That was the first book I read from her and... <laughs> It like emotionally destroyed me in the best way possible and I will never get over that book. Like I wish I could read it for the first time again. Plane number three. What's your favorite thing about high school right now? Love you by the way, love you too. Comparing it to my freshman year which was basically a year of nothing. I think just like all of the things that I can get involved with. Like student council, I think is a huge reason why I enjoy school because I get to be involved with like my class with other ASB students and we get to plan things for the school. So I love being a part of that and like planning and organizing things, going to all the events like class comps, football games, just the things that are super exciting because obviously, you know, school, it's not that exciting but then when you add all these extra factors and like events then it gets really fun what book are you planning to read next i just read confess by colleen hoover so good it's probably my second favorite from her oh i love it and then right now i'm trying to read song of achilles i will admit i feel like it's taking me a little bit to like get into it because it's greek mythology and this is my first greek mythology book because i've been reading a lot of romance but i've heard really good things about it so i definitely want to finish that soon and then after that i plan on reading the four other books in the off-campus series because I read The Deal, which is the first book, and then there's four other ones. So I want to buy and read all of those. Would you keep making videos after your graduation? Hello again. Hi. <laughs> I mean, I definitely want to. It's still a while away. I feel like, like I still have two years until I graduate, but I hope my YouTube channel is like still going, still growing. And yeah, I, I would love to just keep making videos and creating. So fingers crossed that I am still making videos during graduation. Okay, I'm going to say this in this video. Hello, future Nicole, future senior Nicole. You can put this in like your graduation video. Bro, but I hope you finish high school good, <laughs> got good grades, surrounded yourself with some good people, and hopefully you're thriving in life. Oh, plane number four? <laughs> Bro, me and Maddie had a sleepover last night. <laughs> it was like one in the morning and we could not stop laughing. Yeah. What do you usually do when you pull all-nighters? <laughs> Read. <laughs> read. <laughs> read my book. Homework. Watch editing. Netflix. YouTube. What else? Like editing. make food. Oh yeah, editing. Thanks, Maddie. That's why she's my best friend. Just like anything that will pass time since there's a lot of it, if that makes sense. Like editing, I can edit for like four hours straight and then you're like, whoa, it's four in the morning. What happened? We should do another all-nighter video. For sure. <laughs> Next question. When do you edit videos on school days? This is how I do it. I will go to school. Ends at like 3 p.m. I'll go to practice. Ends at like 6 p.m. Then I get home around like 6 or 
15, 6.30, shower, do homework, and then edit. So I'll try to get everything done that I need to, and then at nighttime, I'll edit a video. But the thing is, I usually film my videos where I give myself a few days to edit, so like I won't have to film and then edit at nighttime and then post it the next day. Well, that's how Vlogmas is gonna be. But I try to give myself a few days so that I'm not so stressed and overwhelmed. But if it does come to like me editing on a school night, I usually do it at nighttime, like at 10 p.m. and don't finish till like <laughs> two in the morning. What does a guy do when he likes you? Just for advice. Personally, I can really tell when like a guy likes a girl back. Like if I'm watching like someone flirt with Maddie, like I can totally tell. I can also tell when a guy doesn't want to flirt, you know? So I feel like it's really distinct what they do. No, yeah, it's this is cool. Exactly. I say watch their actions. Like if they're purposely trying to talk to you and like their body language, that's a big thing. Like if they're projecting their energy toward you and like no one else around them, they're probably trying to like start something, you know? If he wanted to, he would. <laughs> Are you thinking of getting a bigger bookshelf? Yes, yes, and yes. I've read... <laughs> five books so far in September. My shelves are getting full very quickly, so probably we'll buy a bookshelf soon. <laughs> Maddie's laughing at me, bro. Stop laughing at me. Plane number six. What were you thinking when a lot of people started watching you? I couldn't believe it, and I still can't. It's just like a lot to process. Like, I... I don't know. You know what's trippy though? When like people at my school like tell me they watch my videos. Like I don't know why it's so weird. It's not like weird that they watch them, Wait, but it's like, like it's like, whoa, like we go to the same school and like you can access my videos online. Does that make sense? I don't know. No. Mm, yeah. So, hey from school guys. <laughs> <laughs> How's school, homework, AP Chem, just all the above. I honestly have been having a lot of homework for my math class. I have homework every single night. It's a lot. And then AB Chem, it's not too bad yet because we haven't started learning material. We just had a test. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> but then soon we're going to start learning like actual things. So I'm excited for that. Do you like your old house or current house better? I'm not going to choose one because I think each house was meant to be my house for the time in my life. I grew up in my old house from when I was like two years old or maybe even younger i don't know all the way up to my freshman year i genuinely believe like that's where i was meant to be and then now i'm here and i genuinely believe that i was meant to be here i love both houses and i've created so many memories in the old one i'm creating memories in this one i just love them both like i, I won't choose with new relationships what are some red flags to pick up on if you cannot communicate period like that's literally relationships only work well if you have good communication well, obviously there's more factors, but like a big one is communication. If you can't talk to your partner and be like straight up, tell them something, it's like, how are you going to talk to them? If you're not feeling happy and comfortable in the relationship, then that's a red flag in itself. How do you like to be comforted when you're sad or upset? <laughs> it depends on what's going on, but I usually will really like hugs. Like I like being held when I'm sad, but then there are other times where I'm like, don't touch me, don't talk to me. Like I don't want to see anyone right now. So it just depends. How many pages of a book do you normally read in a day? It definitely differs. It depends on what I have have that day like if I even have time to read eh, which is a lie because I usually will make time to read like every single day but yeah it could be from like 20 pages to like 150 or I could even finish one book in a day like it truly depends how are you so organized like filming school and dance number one time management I say this every single time I try to plan out my day the night before and like know what I have going on um so let's say I have school then practice then I know I have homework maybe editing and then I also want to read so if I need to I will wake up earlier than I have have to just to get other stuff done but if i don't then i'll just wake up at a reasonable time go to school go to dance practice then go straight home take a shower start my homework or read because sometimes i need a break and i just want to read a book there's another plane and then after that i will finish my homework edit do whatever else i have to that night so i would say knowing your schedule a few days in advance and then time blocking it so making sure that you set enough time for that certain thing also having a planner that is very helpful for everything are you planning on doing vlogmas this year yes yes i am i am literally so excited for the holiday season i have a feeling that it's gonna be good this year i don't know i just have that vibe going if you didn't know and if you're new to my channel i have been doing vlogmas for four years i think this year will be my fifth but i've been doing it ever since i was in like sixth or seventh grade which is so crazy but it's basically where you vlog every single day of december up till christmas so you film during the day edit at nighttime, post it the next day i am definitely overwhelmed and stressed 
<laughs> but it's okay because vlogmas is a really good time and i love posting videos for you guys is social media not the real picture of your life like do you get stress breakdowns etc my main motto in life is stay positive that's what i say at the end of every single video that's what is on my merchandise and i do go every single day of life with that motto like trying to stay positive and looking at the brighter side of things so i would say what you see in my videos like i i'm not putting on a show for you guys like i i'm naturally trying to be positive and have fun in life but that doesn't mean that my life is perfect like it doesn't mean that i don't get stressed or get breakdowns or cry a lot because trust me i do everyone has stuff going on in their life and obviously social media is so toxic because of this reason of it alters everyone's life to look so perfect online but then in reality you forget that like they still have stuff going on so i want you guys to know that my channel should be a safe space for everyone that i want to create videos that hopefully put a smile on your face and lift up your mood while you're watching them i never want you guys to be jealous of my life or think that it's perfect and nothing wrong goes on because we're all human and and everyone's struggling with something so yes i do get stressed yes i have breakdowns and yes i cry but i just try to live every single day the happiest that i can because there's no point in not living it like that and that was the last question thank you to everyone who asked a question Stay tuned for upcoming content. There's a lot of exciting things happening. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, or comment down below, subscribe to my channel, turn on my post notifications, and go cop some Coley merch. I'll see you guys back with another video. I love you guys so, so much. Stay positive. Bye! Mwah.